terms of physical seclusion, today's a quiet day. Not many people are coming. Of course, the question is, how about mental seclusion? How many voices in your mind are clamoring in different directions? As the Buddha said, we go around with craving as our companion. And it takes many shapes, and all the shapes and all the forms tend to take on authoritative voices in the mind, either your own voice or the voice of someone that you believed in the past. And you have to sort through those, the people who gave you those ideas. Did they really know what they're talking about? Or when you picked up those ideas, did you know what you were doing when you did that? Learn how to regard those voices with some suspicion, some skepticism, and tell yourself you're going to give the Buddha's voice a try. In other words, not get involved in all the thoughts and drawn-out narratives that your cravings can create for you. I'm just going to be right here. There's not much narrative right here. The breath goes in, the breath goes out. End of narrative. Next one. Breath goes in, breath goes out. But you don't want to keep careful tabs on what you're doing, because there'll be slight changes as the breath goes in, the breath goes out. It's like a bus driver who has the same route for many, many years. Sometimes it's boring because it's the same route, because other, other times you realize that okay, new things are happening. Something is there today that wasn't there yesterday, or something there is right now that wasn't there two three breaths ago. And the fact that you're not doing much else right now means that you have a chance to see these things. Otherwise, you go right past them. They would be too insignificant to notice otherwise. But now when not much is happening, you can make more of them. You begin to see the subtle movements of the mind. And that's what the Buddha said, you're going to find the causes of suffering. So take advantage of the fact that we have some physical seclusion. Try to get things quiet and a little bit more secluded inside your mind. Because the real problems are there in the mind. We live in the world and the world keeps pulling our attention, saying, look at this person that is doing, look at what that person is doing, isn't it horrible, isn't it whatever. And we can't let the world suck us out that way. And we have to stay centered inside, because the cause of suffering, as the Buddha said, is inside, and its solution is inside as well. So take advantage of the quiet so you can see inside. Detect the subtle things that are causing trouble, that don't seem like much in the beginning, but can grow into big problems if you're not mindful, if you're not alert.